The world of forensic science is all technology now. Um, and in fact, the real investigators are going to school all the time because uh, it's a developing science. Um, one of the things that we joke about on the show is that we actually have <laughs> available to us stuff that the real crime labs can't get. Um, but it's, it's pure science and it's a process of elimination. Uh, it's a different discipline in terms of rendering drama because it's a process show and you have to allow the technology and the process to go before you to do the job and it will if you have the patience. I'll give you an example of something that they've just recently developed. Let's say you commit a crime in a parking lot in Los Angeles. They can go back to that parking lot and recover your essence two weeks later. Now that's pretty scary. So um, that's a pretty good example. Um, DNA and the developing science of DNA, it's a finite science. And what's powerful about it, what it's changed, is it can only be you. So there's not a list of suspects, there's not a, a possibility of being somebody else. And Just the other day they let somebody out of jail, again, been in jail for 25 years, wrongly committed. DNA, save the man's life. Simplification. Simplify, simplify, simplify. Um, <clears throat> I still don't see this, and as I say from my own personal experience as user-friendly, um, we want to take the pain out of it and the time out of it. Because right now, uh, we have a theory that if you're 26 years of age or older, you have 10 hours a week for yourself. So if you're cutting into that 10 hours searching for something, surfing for something, looking for something, getting lost, if it's not made available to you, uh, you're going to give up the gold, and the gold is time. So we are about synthesizing that process, simplifying the process, um, <clears throat> and having the technology that we are developing do the work for you. You're not going to pursue anything. It's going to pursue it for you, and it's going to do the work for you.